Hello everybody and welcome to another Weathering Waves video. Uh, I did say uh, last time that I made one of these videos, I was going to do just as I did with Honkai Star Rail. Every time I get an Ascension level, I'm going to do a little progress report on my account. So, with all that being said, before I have done the portal, which will allow me to ascend my characters up to be at least level 70, uh, if, is it 70 or 80? I don't know. Um, but this is my main cast of characters at the moment. So, I, I'm very excited to get the Ascension. I have already pre-farmed all the materials that they are going to need. Uh, the rover is a bad um, thing because she has the scroll, but I have 15 out of 9 there. You know, I have a 9 out of 9 there. For all my characters, I have acquired what I need for their Ascension to happen. I just need to go buy the flowers real quick, and we're going to get those Ascended. But, uh, let me go over my characters. So, I have Calcharo. He was the character that I chose to acquire off of the free five-star selector that they gave us as a part of compensation. Um, I have Autumn Trace on him. For a while, I was unfortunately using Broadblade of the Night because the only other sword that I had was Dauntless Evernight. And because that is a defense-based sword, uh, Broadblade, um, and the only purple Broadblade I had is actually, if you go on to Pridewin and look at his best weapons, it is under... Broadblade of the Night, and then another blue. Like, it is just so bad. It is so useless on Calcharo. But I finally got Autumn Trace, and I actually pulled that while I was going for uh, Yinlin's banner as well. So whenever I got Yinlin, not only was Calcharo getting a big uh, buff by Yinlin joining his team, but also he was getting a big buff through finally being able to equip this broadsword. So that's really nice. Um, as for as for echoes, we have we don't have a lot of crit rate and crit damage off of our echoes. I would say we actually have a decent amount of crit damage. Maybe I should turn this to a crit rate one. Um, I do have a crit rate one, but I think it's on Yinlin actually. Um, we have ten percent, eleven percent energy regen. Um, we have seven hundred seven attack, five k HP, one hundred seventy four defense. Um, this is what we have. We do have a decent amount of bonuses. We have gotten lucky on our on our sub stats here. And then we have 40% electro damage bonus. Um, we would, if we can get a uh, the final piece, we will have a five set of the electro. And I would also like something better than this four star um, that has attack percent as this. And then we could kind of complete Calcharo. But as for right now, yeah, we have a crit damage thundering Mephis in the first uh, slot. Then we have a violet feathered heron. We have a flottist with electro damage boost and the. Violet Feather and Heron has an attack percent. All of these have pretty decent... Uh, this is probably the one with the worst substats. The Violet Feathered Heron is actually the same one that I got from the um, uh, the Echo event. So the free Echo event, I got the Violet Feathered Heron. So I've had this for a while. But yeah, this is really nice. It has a crit damage, crit rate, uh, damage bonus on skill and basic attack. And it has electro damage on the electro set. This is a very, very, very good flottist. And you'll notice that my Yinlin also has a good flottist. Now this I have on him basically just for its uh, its main stat and substats. Got attack percent and heavy attack damage, basic attack damage, attack percent. Um, it is not permanent on this character, obviously. Like I said, I would like to re replace it. This one is also for the main stat and the substats. And because I don't have a um, a golden version of this that's at least good enough um, i'm going to be re-rolling a lot of these echoes once i complete this ascension challenge and i can um and i can upgrade my data bank the final two times uh we have traces pretty much for oh not for yinlin not for yinlin we have traces for all of our uh most of our other characters you know some of these are still three out of tens but they're going to be four out of ten soon um, we have most of our traces for most of our characters done. Um, I'm honestly, I haven't been worried too much about the stat traces, although on my main DPS I did want them because Kalchar will be doing the most DPS. Um, I honestly think because of the move, because Yinlin came out like the day before we had to start moving a lot, um, I haven't had really time to remember to upgrade those. But I do have her with some gear. She's two-piece attack percent. Uh, two piece electro damage. So let's go down the line here. Attack percent, crit rate. Um, I I probably could level this up again. You know, let, let's just try it real quick right now. Honestly, HP percent is not the worst thing to have on here. 
So let's just see what we can get right here live on video. Ooh, defense. Yeah, that piece is in the bin. We're going to try it. We'll try a different piece. Um, these unfortunately got defense on them, but we're going to try a different piece. Um, anyway, I like your damage bonus on the flottest with crit rate, uh, basic attack and uh, heavy attack damage boost. So this is also good. A good flottest, um, you know, onset damage boost. Uh, this is a Violet Feather Heron. It has energy regen, which obviously isn't the worst. Every character can use energy regen. Every character obviously benefits from using their alt, so... But I haven't put any points into it. This is basically on her just for the stats and because I can get the attack percent set out of it. To combine with this thing having the attack percent set. Uh, the Tic Tac, this is also... This is just a placeholder at the current moment. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I can definitely replace this probably at any point. Maybe put some points into it and see how good it is. It, it is Havoc, so if I go back to the Havoc rover, I've actually been using um, the Spectro rover, but we'll get to that. Anyway, next up we have um, Verena. Verena I have been using with the Energy Regen set because whenever I throw her into battle, I want her to be able to ult fast so I can give my team the bonus damage, um, the damage buff. And then they can kind of go crazy. Um, and then I can switch back to them, you know. And then they have the more the more damage. The vines that are also hitting while they're hitting. Um, and then also I gave her a healing bonus. That way at any time I used her intro skill, I actually get more healing out of it. That's very nice. Let's go down the line. Uh, this one is literally just because it's energy regen. I, I honestly really don't like it in my first slot either. I haven't been too worried about building a lot into my Verena. I just basically gave her the sets. This is another Thundering Mephis. It has crit rate on it. Honestly, I could easily put this on my Calcharo, and it might actually be better, so we're going to think about doing that pretty soon. Uh, let me know what you think down below what I should do. Um, this one's also just for the energy regen. This one's just for the healing plus, and it has some defense on it, and, you know, I don't want my Varina to die, so pretty, pretty basic, I would say. Um, like I said, I got that. Uh, Comet Flare is what I'm currently using for her thingy. But honestly, I could definitely get away with it just because it has like the HP percent and um, increases healing bonus by 3.5. What I think I should probably do actually is now that I got variation, which I completely forgot that I that I got whenever I was pulling for String Master, I did get variation, which has the energy regen. This is probably um, just straight up better on Verena. I'm going to switch it now. Um, and then I'm going to look at Pride when right after this, but I genuinely believe that this is probably way better for Verena because, like I said, if I have a lot of energy regen, then I'm just using my alt and I'm giving my team a, a large damage boost. All right, let's get to Encore. Encore was the character that I chose out of my 80 pull selector banner. So I selected um, her to be who I got after 80 pulls, and I got her. Um, because I was able to get, you know, it wasn't going to be Calcharo, but then we got Calcharo off of the straight up selector. So, but I've been really enjoying um, uh, Encore. I haven't used her as much though, because this is obviously my main team that I use in the entirety of the open world. And like I said, I haven't been able to play a lot recently, uh, but I have been longing in doing my dailies, you know, whatnot. Um, but anyway, yeah, we have crit rate with some crit damage, some resonance skill bonus. This, uh, this piece has not flopped yet. I could easily put more resources into it. And if HP, flat HP is the only bad stat, then we might actually hold on to it for a while. This one has fusion damage, um, but I haven't put any points into it. But it also has, it's on the fusion set. So this is obviously very, very good. Um, we're definitely going to put some resources into that. This one's just energy regen. Mostly just, I have it on mostly just because it completes the set at the moment. And because energy regen, it's not horrible on anybody, like I said. This one, same thing, I haven't put a lot of points into it, um, but I easily can put some XP into that and it might actually be an insane piece. Uh, this right here, got Resonance Liberation, Damage Boost, Attack. We got some flat HP, but there's no reason to scurry away from this just because it got one bad substat. Um, we don't need perfect, we don't need absolute picture perfect. If it gets two more really good substats, two or three more really good substats, then we are in business. We are happy with that. Next up is going to be my my rover, and my rover is actually by the stat by the crit rate at least probably my most my my best built unit. Um, yeah, I mean she just has more crit rate, 
and crit damage than anybody. I mean, Calcharo does have more crit damage than her, but it doesn't really matter if he can't crit. And he is, to be fair, getting a lot of crit rate off of his sword. He wouldn't even have this much crit rate if he didn't have that sword, if I finally didn't get it. So his crit rate was abysmal, especially before I got the sword, and now it's still kind of mid. Honestly, I probably should put that, um... I probably should. Maybe I go ahead and do that right now. I put that other Mephis on him, um that had the crit rate uh where was that oh we also have another on there like i said the flottis we have gotten very very lucky um with our electro pieces which is very very good considering that's our main team All right who has that equipped ah right here learning with us so we get the crit rate instead um i think that this is actually probably the move uh, we should do this now let's see what we got yeah, 60% crit rate, 167% crit. I think that that's very good. That's very solid. Um, and then, did the crit rate on automatically go on to her? Wait, no. On to Verena. Did the other one go on? Okay, yes, it's right there. Okay. So, yeah. Honestly, I did have the other one on because it also had some crit damage anyway on top of the crit damage, and then it had, you know skill damage bonus i don't know what do you guys think is better should i put the crit damage or the crit rate mephis on my calcharo and honestly i'll be willing to listen to whoever comments below maybe you know more than me um this was almost this was so close to being a perfect piece we have it's fully leveled 25 we have crit rate attack and then it has attack and crit damage as substats, crit rate as well as a substat, basic attack damage bonus substat. Well, maybe we didn't get the highest rolls we put, could have possibly gotten, but we didn't get the 11.5 or whatever it is for the max crit rate that you can get on a substat. We got the 6.3, but hey, in terms of actually getting the stat itself as one of the substats and not something like flat defense or something, we got an almost perfect piece here. Unfortunately, this attack was just flat attack. Um, here we go. This one is an attack percent with some resonance and basic attack damage bonus as well as crit rate. So that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty nice piece. This one has, unfortunately, got a flat HP, and then I was like, you know, not the worst piece yet. Still, it still has percentage attack for the main stat, and then heavy attack damage bonus and crit rate. So let's go for another one, and then it got flat attack. So this one's pretty much in the bin once it can be replaced. Also have it to get the spectro damage um, set. And then this one is just attack percent. I haven't put any points into it, but I'm just getting the energy regen here from it. And this one also, I'm just getting the energy regen for uh, from it because I don't have a lot of other echoes at the moment that I uh, believe I could put in here and be better. Uh, this had attack, crit damage, and resonance liberation bonus. It was going very well until I got flat HP. I said it's not ruined yet, and then I got percentage HP, which is kind of cause for like, I don't need it anymore. You know, I kind of don't want it anymore on this character. Uh, other than that, honestly, I really have barely, I, I haven't touched Jen Jen in a while, I haven't touched Shisi in a while, I haven't touched Yang Yang in a while, and it's not that I dislike a lot of these characters, um, I'm never touching Ling Yang, um, it's not that I dislike every single one of these characters, because there are some characters that I haven't put many or any resources into that I do like, unfortunately, it's just, I just haven't been playing, like, like I'm saying, if I'm being completely honest, I have not been playing that much. Anyway, the Yaposaurus Rex is done showing you the current state of the characters on his account, and he is going to get into this battle here. I feel like ever since I plugged in my um, my mouse and keyboard again, my mouse has been extremely, extremely um, fast pace. Uh, what's it called? Like high DPI, and it's been kind of ooh. Okay, you dodged it. We're huge. We are clapping this thing. There we go. Energy regen comes in clutch. We use intro skill here. Oh boy, there's another wave. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to use her, um... Yo, what was my character doing? Yeah. I meant to use the second half of Yinlin's skill earlier, but instead I messed it up.
we're not the best player at this game, but you know, we're not horrible, right? There we go. We have officially done it. We have upgraded. Our databank level automatically went to 19, and it is like two captures away from being maxed out at 20. Um, because if you didn't know this, um, if you haven't reached that point yet, your databank caps out at 17, and you or wait, at 18, and then you only get level 19 and 20 after you, um, as you can see, I like heavily overcapped it. Yeah, I'm one away from databank 20, but uh, it locks itself at 18, even if you get the XP for 19 and 20, if you don't um, uh, have the ascension phase. So we're going to get this databank XP um, from level 20. We're going to go hunt something down, not in this video, but when I say we, I meant like, me for the account that I'm showing you guys right now. Uh, and also, we should go buy some flowers so that uh, we can upgrade everybody. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys with that. You know what's going to happen right now, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to buy some flowers. And then I'm going to upgrade all my weapons and my characters to the next ascension level. I've already pre-farmed pretty much everything I need for it. Uh, it's not going to be anything flashy. So that's the state of my current uh, progress on my account. Um, and I've also been in pretty much just do dailies mode for a few days now because one, I mean, I have not yet done Xi'an or Yinlin's, uh, I, I'm almost complete with Yinlin's story quest. I'm um, about like a hour or so in and I know there's not much more. Um, the Xi'an one, honestly, I didn't really care as nearly as much. Um, I'm going to wait till they add skip buttons for a lot of the dialogue in there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I have like one more side quest to do, but I just discovered it the other day while I was doing a daily uh, login quest. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. To be honest, I'm just going to buy every single one of these flowers just so I have them for the future anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more, I make uh, Weathering Waves content and Honkai Star Rail content. Um, and I would love to see y'all come by. Yeah, peace.